just seems so unnatural, just like walking out to the edge. Oh my god. Run! And welcome to Bournemouth on this beautiful sunny day. Bournemouth famous for its beaches, which literally stretch around about seven miles along the coastline. It's an absolutely gorgeous day in September. I'm here literally just after the air show, so you might see some of these speakers uh, dotted along here. So we're going to check out the pier, which is quite unique because it has a zip line running from the pier across the water and down onto the beach. We'll also have a walk through the gardens. But let's start in the town centre. Because the town is actually quite nice. Don't forget, if you haven't already, give the video a thumbs up, hit subscribe and click the notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. So let's start the tour. Good to know there's some scooters here if you need to get around Bournemouth fairly quickly. Now I'm glad I'm here without Gabby. I love my wife, but I tell you what, she spends too much time shopping in this town, particularly in um, Primark, so I'm glad I'm on my own. But um, yeah, I, what I love about Bournemouth is how it slopes down, goes through all the gardens and then down onto the beach as well. I also get so many people ask me, you know, you do all these tours around these seaside locations, but you hardly ever go into the towns. So I thought I'd make it a little bit different today and start off in the town. I still have music there. You don't see that very often, so I'm playing a keyboard. I do like that. That looks so good. That's the, uh, the shopping centre. Are those real plants? <laughs> and if you have been coming to Bournemouth for any amount of time, one big change is the shop on the corner on the right-hand side up here has gone forever. That big department store known as Debenhams. I think they're putting in a shoe shop and some other shops in there. I love that the taxis are yellow in Bournemouth. I love that. Yeah, so Debenhams used to be here. Obviously now gone. So we're going to head into the lower gardens. I love this little piazza here. Get yourself a drink. Obviously we can head further up into town just up there on the left. There's also a lot of uh, workmen around taking down bits of stuff that were here for the air show. I'm literally recording this the day after the air show, if you're wondering. I love this though, such a grand entrance with these, uh, with these palms. So unique for the UK. But they look great, don't they? Especially in the sunshine. The gardens are always so nicely kept. And even though they're fenced off, people kind of uh, just sit all around them. Even though I don't think they're meant to. But temperature today, 27 degrees. Obviously, it's, uh, it's going to be busy. Last bit of weather, probably for the summer. One thing that's different about Bournemouth is their bandstand, which is just in front of us, enclosed in a big glass building. So even in September, flowers are still blooming. You can't really get lost in Bournemouth. I mean, these are maps everywhere to show you where you're heading to. So we're just right now here, just gonna go past the mini golf, the bandstand, up past the pavilion theater, and then on towards the beach. There's a few little cafes dotted around as well to get yourself a coffee, which I'm very tempted to do right now 
quite hard to believe these gardens were first invented, so to speak, back in um, 1871. I'm sure I read that correctly. But uh, that is the bandstand. So different, isn't it? I think it has been used this weekend. So the stream running through the gardens, which makes it quite difficult if you want to get from one side to the other. I've seen actually quite a lot of people try and jump over and land in the water, which is quite funny. There's no fish in there. The water is fairly clean. But yeah, packing away from, uh, I don't know obviously what was here during the air show. You may have seen Bournemouth on the news obviously with the air show, with um, one of the planes that had to ditch. Thankfully he made the right decision. Glad to know the pilot's okay and no one was actually seriously hurt. Some little baby ducks. Look how cute these are. So cute. So obviously the big wheel in front of us and the uh, pavilion theatre to the left. One thing I do find odd about Bournemouth, which kind of ruins it, is the road that goes across the seafront just there. It's obviously built out of concrete, it doesn't overly look that great, but uh, obviously you walk underneath it. It's obviously better than walking across the main road, I guess. Let me know in the comments if you've ever seen a show here. I tell you what, on a hot day like this, being by these fountains are just so nice. I want to get in there, but it's pretty impressive behind the pavilion. In fact, I remember seeing something on um, on socials in the winter with this frozen over. It looks pretty epic. Las Vegas, eat your heart out. You've got Bournemouth and the fountains. Also, I've got a big shout out to the Churros King. Best churros in Bournemouth by far. Especially when they're in white chocolate, they're totally amazing. So just walking under the underpass and there's seating here which is quite handy especially when it rains. Big wheel that's been here for years, known as the observation wheel here on Bournemouth seafront, just opposite the, uh, the pier. And also one of my favourite restaurants, which whenever I've come to Bournemouth, I've never been able to get a seat. Obviously it's just because I come very, during, during very busy periods. And if you're a keen Instagrammer, and you want a perfect opportunity for the perfect photo, check this out. I love this. You can literally stand under this wave and get a photo. Isn't that great? Everything is close together really on Bournemouth Seafront, like the aquarium just here to the right of the pier. But let's go and check out Bournemouth Pier first. Interesting sign, no barbecues until 6 p.m. <laughs> so you can have a barbecue, but it's gotta be after six. It's funny, this year, after going around all these seaside locations, it's almost become a bit of a status symbol to have a big wheel. The bigger, the better. Of course, the biggest one at the moment is in Great Yarmouth. So the best way to get on the pier, obviously, is around the corner here. On a day like today, Bournemouth's got its own beach club, which is down there. We'll take a look at that in a minute. I might have to go down there for a drink because that looks amazing. So the entrance to the pier, there is a charge and it's about £1.30 for adults and about 90p for kids. So here's the weird thing about Bournemouth Pier. I've just paid to go on and it's basically like a, a toll. And uh, this receipt allows me to go on the pier at any point um, up until about five o'clock, where after five o'clock, you don't need to pay to come on. I know, strange, but also you only need to pay once and this will keep you going until uh, the end of the year. 
God, just look at the colour of the sea today. It's so beautiful. And see how clear the water is. You can actually see right to the bottom. Now this might give you a bit of a, a nervous disposition, but a couple of paddle boarders recently um, saw two sharks on the beach here and um, the beach was actually evacuated. If that was me, I'd certainly uh, mess my pants and get out of the water very quickly. In fact, today I was hoping I've, if I've got enough time, I'd actually get in the water. But uh, after hearing that, <laughs> it's freaking me out just a little bit. So what's on the pier? I hear you cry. Well, to be honest, there's, um, there's no theatre here. There's like an activity area inside where they've got like a, a climbing wall and stuff like that. Um, there's a few fun fair rides at the end. And also one of the few zip lines that run from the pier across the sea and down onto the beach over there. I'm tempted to try it. Let's find out how much it is. See, every pier I come to is so unique. This building itself is really different. I know of an evening this place is pretty busy. It's like a bar. You can see outside. Do a little bit of fishing down there. And there's a couple of rides. There's basically the Helter Skelter, the zip line, and uh, a couple of rides for the kids. So I've got to do it. I'm going to get my ticket. I've just got to wait here. It says do not enter. But I'm um, just checking out the prices. £20 for a single, £35 for a dual, a group, £13. So obviously it's summer. I think, is it still classed as summer? April to September. Does that mean it's still classed as summer? I guess we'll find out because I could save five pound. I know what you're thinking. Gosh, he's sexy. I tell you what, this is not very comfortable to wear, to walk in. But yeah, here we go. Slightly nervous. Do you like the hat? It's never very good when you see that sign. I've got to put the code in, obviously won't show this on camera. All done. Right, here we go. All the way to the top. Halfway there. Ooh, nice view. You can see where I'm gonna zip down. Well, we're at the top of where the hell the scouter is anyway. Don't look down. How you doing, alright? You alright, mate? Yeah, not too bad. What side do you reckon? I'll do the right, I'm right handed, yeah. so. Right, it's really on. random. Oh, that's one, yeah. So. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. It's like a big slide, right? Exactly. Alright, <laughs> go, go, go. It just seems so unnatural just like walking out to the edge. Yeah, I oh think my god. It's to run. run? Yeah, I think it's better to run off rather than sit with the coach. Oh my god! Okay. This is scary. I'm going pretty fast. I'm going pretty fast right now. Oh! I'm going to get ready to tilt my head. Ah! Oh! Oh! Blimey! My nuts are still intact, so that's good. Come and step up onto the flat. There. Cool. Oh, no, I wasn't recording. Can I do it again? I'm joking. Do you know what? I was so worried about the camera. I actually probably didn't take that whole experience in. Just walking around the beach now, looking, I feel like everyone's looking at me right now. I don't know if you can see this on the camera, but there are so many tiny little black fish down here. Can you see that? The water is crystal clear. So we're going to have a quick wander just past the aquarium and uh, the amusements up there. I believe there's a few more beach clubs. I call them beach clubs. I don't think they're officially called that in the UK. I think there is a lot of people on the beach today considering the kids are back at school. <laughs> or they're supposed to be anyway. The sand in Bournemouth is just so fine. There's like no pebbles or stones on the beach whatsoever. It's only right we check out under the pier. Compared to other piers that I visited, it's, um, it's very basic. And on a day like today, a lot of people are using this for shade, actually, which is probably a good idea.
But yeah, the pier reminds me of like an underpass on a motorway. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? All the concrete, I think. But look, there's little places for people to sit. But yeah, very odd compared to any other pier that I've been under. Very strange. Very unique. You go well fast. Now I understand that this is the only one in the world pier to shore zip line. Quick, he's going back out to sea. <laughs> Just the way he pulls him in. And another beach club here, open from midday until late. At the end of the day, they're not as uh, sexy as the ones in Ibiza or abroad, are they really, to be honest? They're picnic tables and a few parasols, but still, I like the idea. So if we want to, we could walk to Sandbanks, which is about four kilometers in this direction, but that will be coming up in a separate video. So make sure you do check that out on my channel. But I love walking up here because it does remind me a little bit of uh, America and California. And the East Coast needs more of these showers on the beach because I tell you, on a day like today, when you've been on the beach and you've got sand everywhere, you need it to rinse off all that rubbish before you take it in your car. Looks like there's a, uh, an actual queue to get into this beach club. If your name's not down, you ain't coming in. <laughs> I remember there used to be a helter scouter on the beach here. A slightly different little horsies going around on a track. And the Happy Land amusements. And that is pretty much it up here on the seafront. Like I say, if you keep walking, you'll get to sandbanks. And this is definitely worth a mention. This is the largest Harry Ramsdens that I have ever seen. It's massive, look, there's people sitting along the top there. It reminds me of like a, a train station or something. It's huge. And it is, uh, I don't know what this building used to be. If, uh, if you know, let me know in the comments. And this is the biggest fish and chip shop restaurant in the world. So it's even got a terrace as well. How cool is that? Thanks for watching the video of Bournemouth. Please make sure you give the video a thumbs up and hit subscribe and click that notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. Remember to check out my video of Sam Banks as well that's also on my channel and I'll see you soon.